Stand the Road Show is trying to help you organize your life as your household transitions from the school year routine to the lazy days of summer. It's easy to let the clutter take over. Our organizing whiz, Amy Volk, is here with some strategies on how to keep things running smooth and clutter free. Amy, I just, this is perfect because last night I was looking around the house and I'm looking at books, I'm looking yes. at supplies, I'm looking at papers, it's everywhere. And I told myself, and this is going to happen today, I'm going home and it's all disappearing. Yeah, in the trash can. Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to save myself time. I'm not going to organize it. I'm just going to get rid of it. Well, and you're right. So I scratched my first point I was going to start with because I'm going to say right up front. Yes. When this stuff starts coming home, we need to tackle it right away because it we can linger all summer. We have not done that. We've not summer. done that. So all year. I mean, we, it's just... Exactly. So if you don't already have this created for each kid, create a memory box or what, a memorabilia box and really only save things that are unique creations, like right. something they wrote or drew or something really unique. Do not save all that. Right. Those the worksheets. artwork, definitely, right? Yeah. The artwork, great, if it's a unique creation. But if you have little guys, um, the things that you glue, macaroni, cotton balls, things like that, that they glue on paper for projects, throw it Gone. out. Us with some teens and, and older mm -hmm. ones in our house, if it's a unique creation, save it. So get a memory box, go through the papers as soon as they come home. So you start your summer on a clean slate. I like the creative writing. Yes. Save that. Okay, save but that. some of the things that we okay, have but, to save? Uh, some of the things, you know, are anything that you want to go down memory lane or you want to give to them when they're older, right. save those things. Right. The rest of we're left with summer then, what do we do with all that time mm -hmm. and structure for the, so it doesn't get a mess again? And that's what I'm going to tackle here. So we've already started some of this, you know, us that our kids are out, um, is get a three-month calendar, so June, July, and August, and put in your known commitments. So what I tell folks is schedule, like write in what you know is going on. And then you're left with, okay, what do I do with the blank days? so that I don't have just my kids laying around or nothing really um, set in stone. Uh, look for some local uh, vacation spots. I say, you know, like our family's never been to Luray Caverns. Oh, yeah. So local things that you can do in a day or a couple of days. Then start to look at what are some of the local offerings, some of the summer camps. You know, the um, Virginia Beach Rec Center schedule just came out. So look right. through there, and you're going to start to plug into your calendar to create a structure. You want a loose structure for summer, but you don't want these random days of nothingness, right. is what I call. W normally during school year, we have chore charts. Most of us have chore charts for our kids, but it's like, then. so what do you do in the, summer? in the summertime? So there's a lot of online resources, and I just printed off a couple, but... Go through with your family and decide what is it that you want your kids to get done every day. Maybe it's make their, still make their bed every day, or they're going to have extra projects um, that you want done around the house. I, lo I love the chore chart, but let's go back to the calendar, and yeah. here's just one more suggestion. Yeah. Maybe on these days, maybe let's put a word of the day and yeah. make them learn a new word. Put a new word on there every day like some so they can continue word. their education. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, learn it, spell it, use it in a sentence every day. And one of the things I have over here is it's not um, a bad idea to get like a, a brain breaker for the summer. So they have to do a couple pages out of a worksheet, mm -hmm. and that's what you could schedule on your days. Okay. Is do you know maybe a math? Like maybe that. they're struggling in math, or maybe you want them to um, really beef up their creative writing. Get one of these brain teaser workbooks for the summer. Mm -hmm. The thing that I'm doing with my kids, it's part of their chore chart, is I'm giving them an incentive to read. I there like is that. a local library, most of the local libraries have a reading program for the summer, but I'm paying my kids for every novel of fiction or nonfiction that they finish. It has to be an actual book. They get paid. So like my daughter's going to finish this series, then she's starting The Hunger Games. My nice. son loves history, and they're going to chart it, and then they have to give me a verbal report about each book. I like that yes. idea. That's a great idea. That's part of their chore chart, part of their incentive. Okay, now we've got all these school supplies sitting around the house. You've got to do something with that, too. Okay. Should you toss them or save them? Save them. And this is one container. Save most of them. Get a plastic bag. Have the kids go through. Scratch, like, what pins work, what pins don't work. Put them in a Ziploc bag, and you want to save them for next year. Yeah, because you're going to have that long list of things for next year. You are. Yeah. You're, you're going to have it. So get a bucket, a container, any kind of thing that you can say, these are things that we know that work, and we're going to save them for next year. Okay. Yeah. Any, any pencils that are this big? Any Roman. crowns? Or just toss them. Toss them. It becomes junk and clutter in your drawer. Right. If your pencil doesn't have an eraser, what good is it? Right. And any pens that don't work or, you know, you want to be able to start the school year off with um, not spending a ton of new money, mm -hmm. but that you don't go to here and go, oh my gosh, it's all junk. All right. You have set me on my way because today is the day we're getting organized. The Reckling Household. Amy Volk, thank you so much for great advice as always to get in touch with Amy. We'll link her information to our website at the Hampton Roadshow.com. Amy Volk.